Hey, what's up everybody, it's Ivan here. And so recently my subscriber Chen Gong has asked me about my tips on how to use Twitter more effectively for you know communicating within the machine learning, within the AI community. And Twitter, Twitter has been like such an impactful platform for me. Like I've met so many, you know, awesome people there and I've made, you know, quite a bit of really good friends there. And so this is kind of the video that I've actually also thought about making for some while. And so uh, this is gonna be like my tips on how to use Twitter more effectively. And before we start and before we actually get to the tips, you know, I obviously want to emphasize, we just like, you know, I'll be speaking from my personal experience and I'll be talking about what I've done, uh, you know, what I think, uh, what I think is cool, but also obviously, you know, it's like we're talking about Twitter, so everybody can do whatever they want there. And so this is kind of me just speaking about what I think uh, worked for me and what I think, you know, was fun for me. And maybe, uh, you know, it could benefit you in some way too. So my first tip is to actually listen first. Now, what what do I mean by that? Like for me personally, like it's super easy to get caught up and like, you know, uh, in trying to compose the best sounding, uh, you know, like uh, to a character tweet, which is like with the most sophisticated wording and like the perfect emojis that, you know, that's kind of, you know, taking away from the point that it's a platform where a lot of people can speak and just as much value that can come out from you speaking, I think even more can come out from you listening to what other people have to say and to engaging with them and, and responding to their tweets, you know, retweeting. I mean, I feel like that's how you can actually, you know, make good friends there on a the platform or just, you know, find like-minded people with whom you know, you can maybe, uh, I don't know, like tackle projects together or I don't know, like uh, do cattle competitions. Hello, Carlo. Uh, and do some fun stuff like that. So listen first. And so now let's actually get practical. Now, what do I mean? You know, say you're kind of starting out and you want to kind of ramp up your Twitter presence. How do you do that? So first thing I kind of have to figure out is who do you want to follow? Now, uh, you know, if we're talking about AI, Right, there are some obvious, you know, like big fishes that's that are cool to follow, like I don't know, OpenAI, DeepMind, Lex Friedman, you know, and maybe like Elon Musk, like all those cool people and cool organizations that you can follow. That's you know, it's pretty straightforward, right? Uh, but where can you find people that are maybe you know, maybe you're starting out, maybe learning, which is you know, that's kind of how uh, I've been using Twitter, you know, learning and just finding finding this way people who are also on the same learning level like me and communicating with them because it's you know it's almost always more fun to learn when you have like a i don't know like a buddy with whom you can study machine learning and stuff like that so uh the way you can do that is by uh, searching the hashtags like the hashtag ai hashtag hashtag machine learning hashtag 100 days of ml code which is the hashtag with, with which i actually started my twitter around like two years ago uh where i would basically like you know it was like a challenge i think it's still a thing where you like commit to do 100 days of ml code and you just like post your progress every day and so you can search all those hashtags and if you search like 100 days of ml code you'll find people who are also learning stuff uh you know, around machine learning. If you search the hashtag computer vision, you'll find people who are doing some stuff with that. And I suggest that you follow those people and then you kind of, when you scroll, you kind of like listen to what are they tweeting. And the second part here is to like leave comments, like make remarks, you know, maybe you see somebody who's learning the subject that you've learned and you can like share your experience with the subject. Like that's kind of the way that, you know, I'm still using Twitter to this day, you know, and that's definitely how I've been doing it before. So just like listening, finding people to follow through hashtags who are, you know, doing similar stuff or like I think word search also works on Twitter, right? And just like leaving comments, you know, uh, you know, making friends. And yeah, that's pretty much my first tip on how to use Twitter. And so my second tip on using Twitter more effectively will be something that uh, Gary Vaynerchuk calls document not create. Now, uh, and this is going to be about the type of stuff that I personally like to post, right? So this is kind of on the whole spirit of like not trying to overthink a single Twitter or trying to put out all the time, like all the, uh, you know, polished projects there or sharing your work credentials or whatnot, you know, just letting yourself document instead of create there, uh, which means that like, for, for, for instance, right? Uh, 
oftentimes, you know, I may be experimenting with guns and things may not be going like as planned and I may be getting like some really weird faces. So I'll tweet about that. I'll be like, hey, you know, I am experimenting with guns today. Like this is the kind of type of result that I'm getting. I can be like writing some random code at 3 a.m. like uh, because I can't fall asleep right and i can be like hey you know like it's really late at night but here's kind of here's kind of like me trying to do a tic-tac-toe ai something right this is the type of thing that for instance with the hashtag of 100 days of ml code i remember i used to be doing like literally you know each day is like hey today i try to you know work out some linear regression stuff or whatnot so it's like kind of like the whole spirit of like you know why not post like literally you know you can post uh, and something that I like to do, which is like, you know, m something that I'm working on right now, you know, why not share that? Oftentimes, you know, I have edited a video or like I'm, you know, getting ready to put out a video and I like tweet about, hey, like I'm putting out a video. It's, and, you know, you know, like the whole point here is like not to overthink it, which is something that, you know, I tend to do quite often and something that I try to get better at. So maybe that'll be useful for somebody. So, you know, feel free to document and not create all of your tweets. And also where Twitter can help is when maybe you have a problem or something like you're stuck on some piece of code that's not working or you're having problems, right? Uh, so many times, you know, I was like really confused and I would just like tweet my questions and not always, but sometimes, you know, uh, there would be some people who have worked on this issue who would help me out and that you know uh sometimes that even developed in some really good relationships there so feel free to and it's to the point of both you know listen and document not create birds come on birds i know you like my videos but come on anyway so and this is the whole point of like uh listen and document not create you know feel also free to both ask or like post questions on things that you're struggling with right now, right? That you maybe need help on, especially if you include hashtags like computer vision or like machine learning, like somebody may be able to help you, especially if it's like a more general phrase question, right? And also to the point of listening, you know, if somebody poses a question and you can answer and help that person out, also feel free to do that, you know, right? I've, uh, I've been on both sides so many times with me asking questions and with me, you know, trying my best to help both on Twitter and like in the YouTube comments and everywhere. So I feel like it's a really good way to, uh, to build community and to just like make friends. Right. And yeah, so th that would be my second tip, which is like document, not create. And so kind of a bonus tip that I would like to add here. And this is back to what I was saying about like, you know, that everybody should use Twitter however they want really. And that like don't hesitate and don't be discouraged discouraged from posting like some random stuff that you find interesting. Like for instance, I'm a huge Doctor Who fan, and I can like randomly tweet like out of nowhere, uh, you know, like some Peter Capaldi quote, and maybe 99.9% .9 of the people who follow me would be like, "Hey, what is that guy talking about?" But that's kind of what I feel like tweeting, right? Or like maybe it's a song that I like that I'd like to share. So I feel like that's kind of also important to just like, you know, if you want to not be discouraged from just like tw tweeting random stuff about like a TV show or a song that you like, you know, I feel like a great example of that is like Lex Friedman, because, uh, you know, he can tweet about something like really, really uh, tacky, right? But he can also tweet like a piece of poetry or, you know, like a quote from somebody or just a thought that he had. And it's it can be quite often interesting to read even though like it's not the content that you necessarily expect so like don't hesitate to express yourself and to tweet stuff that you want that can you know even if that may seem kind of random and uh, i still think it's worth you know tweeting about stuff that you just like find interesting and that kind of like express yourself you know know what i mean so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully Ching Gong, I've answered your question and hopefully this video will also be useful to people who are, you know, uh, maybe also looking for more creative ways to use Twitter and maybe some of my experiences, my, <coughs> and maybe some of my experiences, which I've shared in this video will be useful to them. Uh, but even if it's just a random video that I post, I'm still uh, proud of doing that. And I hope, hopefully, will uh, Hopefully it'll be useful to somebody, but even if it don't, you know, I'm still excited to post random stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe, you know, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see some more uh, and 
show me your appreciation and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.